Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Sarva Gyan. My name is Dr. Lokendra Singh and once again we are going to discuss about LVM. So why did I say once again because uh, within very first video we have discussed about how to create LVM. Within second video we saw that how to recover LVM and within this video we are going to see that how to resize LVM. It means if you need to increase or reduce the size of LVM so how can you perform that activity. Fine. But before starting this video guys, I would like to request you to please like, share and subscribe to my channel and do not forget to press bell icon as you will be able to see my videos before others. Fine. So first of all, I'm going to uh, create one LVM here, obviously because I do not have any LVM created and I may have to install one package which is known as LVM. So I will have to run a command yum install LVM and uh, because what happens is sometimes when you are talking you are working about you are working with AWS system so you may not be able to find some uh, LVM package available INSTALL install LVM asterisk minus Y it means this will install all the available packages which are required to perform operation with LVM I am working with RHL 7 currently and this particular command will install all the packages which are required to perform activity fine so as you see album was not available so this pack this package has been installed now what i need to do i need to run a command app disk which will actually list down all the available devices on my server so app disk hyphen l so if i run this command so i see dev xvdb and dev xvdc two disks are available which is which are of 8 gb each fine so 8 gb and 8 gb so now what i need to do is i need to run a command uh, i must write here pb create slash dev slash x vd and then after b comma c it means the two disk i'm going to use, okay i must write here curly braces b comma c so this command I will run. So now I can check my PV is available. Fine. Now VG create. Then after I will have to give name. Maybe I'm going to give test VG. Test VG I'm going to give. Then after space uh, slash dev s x v d b slash dev x v d c. So this is also this is also a way like we can configure our uh, or we can create our VG. So the same fashion either I could have given this syntax or I could have given uh, this syntax. Whatever I would have wanted, I would have done that. Fine. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create one LVM. LV create hyphen n for name. It means the name which you want to give. I'm going to give my test LVM. Test LVM. I'm going to give name then after hyphen capital L size the size which I want to give to my LVM and after that I will have to give size maybe 2 GB and where from I want to create it so I will have to specify VG name which is test VG I will have to specify fine my LVM is created so I can check my LVM this is of 2 GB fine now I will format this MKFS mkfs dot ext4 mkfs dot ext4 then after lvm slash dev test vg and test lvm this is what i will specify i will show you two practicals here one with ext4 and one with uh, your uh, xfs so watch this video till end as you will be able to see both the stuff so now what i need to do is i need to mount this mount slash dev test vg test lvm on slash data fine df on th if you run a command so you will be able to see that this lvm is mounted here and the file system is ext4 fine this is what we have already gone through and this is what we have been working with so now if I need to extend size of this uh, LVM from 2 GB to maybe 3 GB. So what I need to do is I need to run a command LV extend 
hyphen capital L plus 2 GB and then I need to specify name of LVM slash dev then after test L uh, test VG and test LVM so if I run this command so this says that this has been successfully resized see here this is 2 GB and this has been extended to 4 GB that's it we have resized it but there is a problem with this so if I run a command E5 and capital TH once again it says still it is of 2 GB why see what happens is let me show you let me draw a sketch for you because the concept should be clear not only the commands you should be knowing that why do we need to run these commands for example I have this volume group this is my VG size is uh, maybe 16 GB so we cut one chunk out of this so this is of 2 GB we formatted this with ext for file system now what I have kept some data here my some data is available and now I took one more chunk of 2 GB and I added into this it means right now the, the size of this LVM has been increased to from this to this one it means this part also has been taken into this LVM fine so this particular partition has this partition we are talking about this has ext 4 l file system and this particular has nothing so if I need to create file system so I need to run a command mkfs.ext4 and this particular file system also be formatted but what I have some data kept here maybe I have some critical data which I am not uh, ready to bear the amount or I cannot bear the risk of uh, formatting that data so when I need to go for extending file system onto this place where I am just working here so when you need to create ext4 file system here so what you need to do is you need to run the command resize to fs r e s i z e resize to fs hyphen f it means forcefully slash dev test vg and test lv so if you need if you need to run if you need uh, if you run this command and after that you check your size so that is 4 gb now it means 3.9 gb that is fine so uh, we saw here that we can extend our file system and we can reduce as well so how so just uh, let us see how to reduce the file system size and let me tell you one thing before perform this practical on your production read all the documentation carefully because it is never recommended that you are supposed to reduce your LVM in your production environment because your data inconsistency may occur or your data and your file system may get, get corrupted because when you are losing some I nodes from your system okay let us see here once again so what happens is when you are working with LVM so for example this is your complete LVM this is your LVM this has 4 GB capacity and all the data is spreaded here it means that could be find anywhere so what if you are going to remove this chunk from the size of LVM only this chunk you want to remove fine only this much it means 3.5 GB maybe you want to have with you you want to remove this 500 MB so all the I nodes it may be possible that some of files are kept here and you are going to remove this so this can create a problem but before running this command so you need to run a command uh, the command is e2fsck e2fsck hyphen f slash dev slash test vg and then test LVM you need to run this command so this is currently mounted so we have to unmount it u mount slash dev okay just uh, run slash data unmount it and once again you need to run this command so now this command will run it means this is going for diff defragmentation it will check your i node block size and everything it will check now what you need to do is you need to go for resize lv resize LV size hyphen capital L then give size maybe 3 GB I want to give before that I must I must show you the size of LVM DF hyphen capital TH so that is uh, not mounted here LVS this is size of 4 GB now I'm going to resize it to 3 GB so the command is LV resize hyphen capital L then after slash dev 
test vg and test lv so if i run this command it will say it will give you warning re, uh, rounding size to boundary between physical logical extent for mb and this may destroy your data file system etc you really want to continue if you continue so may be possible that your data may get corrupted but obviously your size will be reduced so size of this is this uh, to 4 mb one extent uh, the logical volume successfully resized lvs if i run the command so i will see here 4 mb okay did i do it okay i must specify the size here i am so sorry i did not mention here the particular size which i wanted to resize i must okay this has this taken default size in mb i must specify here 3 gb so this is successfully successfully resized so when you are working with your production environment so please do not uh, do not make such kind of mistakes otherwise your entire data will be lost reason being i forgot to mention here m once you mention so it will be resized to your gb only fine so what i need to do is i need to mount this data once again mount slash dev test vg and test lvm and to slash data okay so wrong file system because i have resized it to 3 mb only so that's why this has been corrupted so what i need to do now i, I need to once again have i will have to format it mk fs dot ext4 and after that you need to specify dev test lvm and this one fine now you can run command mount slash dev test vg and test lvm to slash data now this is mounted and you can check so why this file system got corrupted because minimum size was required because if you see here what is used file system and this is used by that particular file system which is created on the top of this lvm and I resized this particular file system to 3MB, which is actually quite uh, my mistake. I admit that. So you do not commit such kind of mistake in your production environment. Fine. So this is how you can resize your LVM if that is created on ext4 file system. Let me show you once again. So if you need to resize your LVM, which is created on XFS, so what commands do you need to run? So I'm going to create one more LVM for you guys. So LV create hyphen n. I'm going to give the name uh, XFS LVM. I'm going to give the name only. This is not file system. Slash and after that, uh, hyphen capital L, maybe 1 GB. Do not forget to spe uh, specify your size, the which you want to have. Then after, I want to specify test VG. That from where I want to create it. So LVS, right now I have an LVM available here, which is named with xfs now i want to format it with xfs mkfs dot xfs now slash dev test vg and xfs lvm so finally it is uh, formatted now let me create directory slash xfs this is just a mount point now let's mount this particular partition mount slash dev and after that uh, test vg then after okay 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 i must mount xfs lvm to slash xfs fine if i check now so it says that uh, this particular lvm has file system as xfs size 1.1 gb because i mean i ran a command with capital h but if you run this command with the small h so it will show you that this is size of 1014 mb this is this much utilized and this much free four percent used and mounted on slash fs Keep this thing in mind, Red Hat does not recommend you to reduce the size of XFS LVM. So if you see so many people are saying that it cannot be reduced, but technically it can be reduced, but it is not recommended from the side of Red Hat even. So do not try to reduce your LVM. Keep this thing in mind whenever you are going to create any LVM or any sort of uh, partition on XFS file system. So consider that, that that cannot be reduced once that is created. If you go for reducing it, so you may lose your data as well as your file system. Your file system may get corrupted and you will have to reformat your partition as I had to did, as I did just because I forget to mention that particular M or maybe G there. I mentioned only three uh, wherein I was supposed to mention 3G. It means 3G I was supposed to mention and I reduced it to 3MB only and that particular was not able to maintain even the size of file system. As we see here, the file system size is 9, 9MB which is used and I reduce it to 3MB. 
so that is why my file system got corrupted so now if i have to extend this partition this lvm i'm talking about that uh, lvm which i have here of 1 gb i need to extend it to 2 gb so what i need to do is i need to run a command lv extend hyphen l now i need to specify plus 1 g it means 1 gb i want to add within this so if i specify like this 2 g so either i can specify here like this hyphen l and l should be capital this l should be capital because capital l means you are going to specify size in gbs otherwise you can specify here small l and you can go for extent size so extent size you can check using your pbs command and pv display command you can check the number of extents available there fine so i want to specify here 2g or i can give here plus 1g so both mean same you are going to either add 1gb or you are going to uh, create the size of fixed 2gb fine what i need to do slash dev test uh, and after that xfs lvm so it is successfully reside from 1gb to 2gb but what if i want to check this file system so it is still saying 1014 mb now what i need to do i need to run different command which is xfs underscore grow fs slash dev and after that uh, dash vg and after that xfs lv so if i run this command so obviously i shall be able to see right now 2.2 gb or if i run a small edge so somewhere 2 gb available here reason being because right now i have extended it and i have even uh, formatted or uh, you can call it like i have expanded the file system like this earlier it was only this was my lvm earlier it was size of lvm earlier it was of 1, one mb i added one more some more space here of 1 gb here so 1 plus 1 equal to 2 gb i ran this command xfs underscore grow fs for xfs file system and i ran a command resize to fs for ext4 file system so keep this thing in mind this is one interview question basically fine so this is it for this video guys thank you very much for watching have a good time happy learning from server again if you have any further question so please do write in comment box and do not forget to press bell icon and do like share and subscribe and share these videos with your friends as they shall be able to prepare them themselves for upcoming interviews and they shall be able to enhance their knowledge in the field of lvm and partition management thank you very much have a good time happy learning thank you